Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Ig Horowitz testifies that key intel was redacted from report that could implicate Lynch. Although the mainstream media has been very successful in diverting from the damning Ig report towards the made-up immigrant child controversy, the facts in the report seem to not be going away anytime soon. We are now starting to see reports that just prior to the 2016 presidential election the Huma Abedin slash Anthony Weiner laptop seized by NYPD investigators working the Weiner sexting case, contained 650,000 Clinton emails. Included among them were the infamous 33,000 emails Clinton had erased. Steadfast and Loyal reported. It seems that the deep state is working overtime to keep people out of prison. We are certain that Loretta Lynch lied in her testimony to Congress. She told investigators that she had spoken to no one in the Clinton campaign but one of the emails that were found said that she told Amanda Renterio that she would not push too deeply into the investigation of Clinton's private email server. It has also been suggested that Lynch and Renteria had exchanged classified information. This incriminating evidence that had been discovered was beyond explosive and even included alleged proof of money laundering, pay-to-play, and pedophilia. The damning emails involved Hillary, her immediate circle, Democrat operatives and a number of Democratic members of Congress. But now we can surmise from reading the Inspector General's report that led to the firing of FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch had already taken steps to silence NYPD investigators a week earlier. This would be considered obstruction of justice and could lead to criminal charges against the former Attorney General. Via the New York Post Lynch also got squirrely when asked about reports that her FBI security detail had banned cameras, even phones, from her meeting with Clinton. Since her lawyer is on record saying Lynch will fully cooperate in the Senate investigation, she'll have a hard time pleading the fifth in hearings. But that doesn't mean she won't try to stonewall. Dozens of times during the House hearing, Lynch claimed, I do not recall, when pressed for sensitive information about her role in the Hillary investigation and the committee determined that she either refused to answer or give appropriate response no fewer than 74 times during the four-hour hearing. FB News Cycle also reported. Our report was filed back on November 4, 2016 when the news first broke. We can now surmise from reading the Inspector General's report that led to the firing of FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch had already taken steps to silence NYPD investigators a week earlier. The OIG report references an October 26, 2016 call from Lynch to FBI Director James Comey during which she left no doubt that she expected them to hide the evidence found on the Aberdeen Weiner laptop. Lynch threatened to bring in a team of new prosecutors and back them with civil rights attorneys in order to reopen the racially sensitive Eric Garner wrongful DH case that a grand jury had already dismissed, if they refused to be silent about the evidence found on the laptop. Trump supporter and former NYC mayor Rudy Giuliani had maintained relations with many of the same NYPD investigators assigned to the Weiner sexting case and he kept candidate Trump informed of what they had discovered on the laptop. A month after Trump was inaugurated he announced his intention to prosecute human trafficking and sex crimes against children in a much more aggressive manner than ever before. Since Trump made the declaration the number of human trafficking arrests increased geometrically over those of previous administrations. Sealed indictments began increasing exponentially at the end of 2017 and have continued through the first quarter of 2018. Just four days before Christmas President Trump signed an executive order blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights abuse or corruption aimed at tightening the noose on this cabal of the rich and powerful, and perverse. The first step in bringing prosecutions took place two weeks ago when Trump's Attorney General Jeff Sessions ordered Backpage.com to be shut down and their records seized. Backpage.com CEO Carl Ferrer has agreed to cooperate with federal investigators in exchange for a reduced sentence. His website was immediately shuttered. Backpage.com began operations in 2004 and grew to command 80% of the SX trafficking market once Craigslist abandoned that market. Robert Mueller was the FBI director from Backpage.com's launch and for the next nine years. He did nothing to protect the victims of Backpage.com's advertisers. After Comey took the reins at the FBI nothing changed. Despite growing awareness of the massive number of individuals suffering from these SX slavers, Comey never attempted to address the problem. Tell me again Mr. Comey who's morally unfit to serve the American people, especially the American women and children who count on government to protect them? It's only fake news until it becomes real news. So it appears there really was more to the meeting between Lynch and former President Bill Clinton on that Arizona airport tarmac.
although they both claimed the former president waited for her for over 30 minutes in order to talk about their grandkids. Nothing in Clinton world is by chance. There are no coincidences, and the world should already know this. If Comey was indeed threatened it makes you wonder what Lynch has on him. The FBI director should be untouchable by our corrupt politicians but we can be sure that if she does have something on him it has to be huge enough for him to risk his whole career and reputation over. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.